I'm Liz Lovelett. Uh, I'm a state senator from the 40th Legislative District in Washington. I represent the beautiful San Juan Island Archipelago and the agricultural powerhouses of Skagit and Whatcom County and Western Washington University. Uh, I'm here today because I am such a huge uh, believer in the power of infrastructure uh, to improve our communities, to improve our climate outcomes, and to make real investments with real dollars to deal with the environmental justice calamities that we have caused communities throughout our history as a nation. Uh, right now, we're at this critical point uh, in our global history where we are combating uh, the issue of climate change. And I think we all are keen to answer that call and make sure that we are delivering for our communities the types of infrastructure that are, that are going to help us get here. I want you to think about the power of making sure you have stormwater conveyance so that we're not putting pollution into our waterways, of making sure that we have waste management uh, that's going and the facilities that are going to be necessary to deal with our recycling and our composting and all of our other waste streams, uh, making sure that we have the infrastructure installed to charge electric vehicles and to produce green hydrogen that is going to fuel our heavy ships and heavy transportation moving into the future. These are all things that can be realized with the National Infrastructure Bank. Uh, the thing about infrastructure is it's the gift that keeps on giving. As soon as you fill a pothole or build a boat or repair a bridge, you're going to need to do it again if you're having any kind of reality about a maintenance schedule. Uh, and that's the place where we're at right now. We're in a deferred maintenance backlog in communities large and small across America. And we desperately need those dollars to be coming in at the local level, creating good paying jobs that you can support a family with and putting in all of those great revenues that make sure we can take care of vulnerable people in our communities uh, at the same time. I love that this doesn't create new debt. Um, I've been a champion for the state bank proposal in Washington for many years now, uh, trying to figure out how to do a similar proposal for kind of the mid-size projects, but the mega projects are incredibly difficult to capitalize. And so that's where I think we are going to find so much value uh, across our nation when we're investing in infrastructure at the local level. Good jobs, solving climate change, and building healing from past harms. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what an infrastructure bank represents to me. So thanks to everybody for having me out here today.